Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Wheelie's Wheeler Edition and Sunset Orange. Now, it just got off the truck, so it's not like spotless clean or anything. But um, as you can see, some of the stuff here, some of the plastic, is a high gloss black, like here on the center of the bumper, as well as the front grille. And, uh, and also the wheels, now they're like dirty, but I just wanted to show you the video as soon as I, I was able to on this, this Jeep. But uh, it's like a high gloss black wheels and uh, parts on the bumper there. And then you've got some, there's the back wheel there, and the back bumper is shiny there in the center. And I like the the sunset orange kind of has a color it's, a, it's one of those colors that kind of stand out and gets your attention especially in contrast with the black it's almost kind of Halloween edition in a way but uh but not you know not too much so you got your your headlights and fog lights here in the front as well as your tow hooks And it says wheelies right here on the on the hood in like a rugged off-road font I guess you could say has off-road BF Goodroad Goodrich tires now it's on and off-road but as you can see by the tread they are very aggressive looking off-road tires and you can drive them on road but if you're driving on the highway a lot you might want to have a second set of tires but um, these might have a little bit of road noise there now you can see some of the shipping plastic still on it I, I took the one off on the other side to show you but here's the back seat now, this is a two-door Wrangler so you've got a um, a back seat here but the way to access the back seat is through the passenger side and that's your basically your access port here on the passenger side and there's your back seat now you've got some pretty decent amount of leg room especially compared to like say the Challenger or something like that you got your speakers up here in the roll cage you've got a dome light Cup holders back here. And this vehicle, since this is a 2015, it comes with a Torx toolkit. And this is it here. And that's um, in case you have a, you want to take the, um, this is a Sunrider top. So if you want to take the whole top assembly off, or if you want to add a um, like a hard top to this vehicle the Taurus kit is used for that it also has these handles in this package the handles hang uh, right here on the cage uh, on the front or the back and that way the passengers uh, if you're going through some aggressive uh, trails or something they have something to kind of hang on a high a high point to hang on so they're not like whipping back, back and forth and stuff there's a, I don't know if you can see that, kind of showing you what's in there. But that comes with it. This one in particular has manual rolling windows, so roll them up and down manually. It says four wheel drive back here. And this will look good with the little cages around the back tail lights. But yeah, look at the the tread on these tires. They are aggressive looking tires. Alright, so here's the back. Now, since this is a soft top, it's not quite so easy to get into the back as far as this part right here. This has to be unzipped and removed. It does have tinted, uh, this tinted uh, plastic windows on the soft top, which is nice some of them are clear and they just kind of I don't know that the tint looks I, I think it looks better myself 
but here's the back here now this is a little mat here that you can take in and out but also it's reversible it has a rubber side and a, and a carpet side under this is a little storage compartment which under that is your tools for your changing your tire now this right here with the with this down and the and the tailgate closed and locked that's kind of like a locking storage space there um, that kind of adds to your storage like say if you have the top down and the doors off or whatever you can lock stuff in there you can also lock stuff in the glove compartment and the center console you see it has a pretty good amount of the privacy windows blocks out a lot of light here on the front I would recommend you know maybe add some tint to the front glass too but it doesn't come from the factory that way there's the inside of the door you see I took off the the plastic that blue stuff that was on the other side so you can see that it has like a metal look here then you've got your net pocket manual window manual door locks manual seat now this particular one has the slush mats that comes with it you know here on the front you see that they're made perfectly I and mean, they just kind of fit like a glove in this vehicle and um, let me go ahead and hop in now you can see it has a just a regular key not any kind of remote anything you just get in it unlock it and lock the tailgate and both doors with the key and you can also start it with the key so there's no keyless entry or anything like that but the steering wheel is leather wrapped cruise control on that side volume button on the back of the steering wheel back here change to the stations on the left side you have a voice recognition you have Bluetooth you have a menu this right here it goes through a menu system and you can always go back to your compass by pushing that button now you can see on the compass that thing that says CAL flashing that is to calibrate the compass and I have a video showing you how to calibrate your compass so you can look for that search for it on my channel but there's the gauges pretty simple easy to read standard I guess you could say you have some speakers there now the 15s have a 8 speaker system and um, here is the window sticker feel free to use the pause button Well, you got a little pocket up here the antenna is yet to be put on but there it is there's the rear view mirror all manual you got your Jeep symbol there you got a little Jeep in the corner climbing up the windshield there and this is your radio now it has a CD player mp3 player has an auxiliary input and it has satellite radio now one cool thing with the Bluetooth is once you pair your cell phone with a the Bluetooth system you can play music straight directly right off your phone so the CD player to me is is completely outdated and I'm, I'm kind of surprised you know vehicles still have them but this one does have it of course the mp3 reading capability is a definitely a plus but um, but nonetheless it's pretty much unnecessary so you have these articulating vents that spin around and you can open them and close them like that which I think is pretty cool you got a pocket here now this pocket is only here because this has manual windows if this had electric windows your power your electric window switches would be right here there's your climate control switches pretty much the same they've been for I don't know 20 years or so on pretty much any vehicle you got a power supply there you have a trash traction control button if you want to turn that off as a downhill descent button that is for off-road use only 
you have a pocket net pocket down there and maybe a pencil pocket I guess you could say down there as well there's your four-wheel drive that's where you engage your four-wheel drive this is the automatic transmission and now this does have the ability to change to the gears if you want to do that by doing that number cup holders are here it's got a little Jeep symbol in there emergency brake plastic still on it center console this is the locking center console I was telling you about and this opens up it has two um, openings these two buttons right here the smaller button opens up the smaller pocket the bigger button opens up the bigger pocket you have a power supply in there as well and a USB charger have a decent sized glove compartment it still has a bunch of papers shipping papers in there you got the handle there visors have mirrors but no lights All right, so let's check a look under the hood. This, this Jeep has two miles on it, and when new vehicles come in and when you run, let them run for a little while, they have like a little bit of a smell where they're kind of burning the new off, I guess you can say, and it has a smell right now. Here's your big battery. A little bit surprised it's not insulated, but maybe there's a reason for that. Then you've got the color coded everything, the yellow. It's a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 with a um, five speed automatic transmission. Anyway, if you have any questions, um, let me know. My name is Mike, and my, uh, my email address will be in the description, but also you can leave it in the comments. I read all the comments, and um, I try to get to answer them the best I can, if I can even answer them. But, um, but anyway, let me know what you think, and uh, if you don't mind subscribing and sharing this video with your friends, and, uh, or anybody you might think it might be interested in it. And I'll see you next time.